In my previous video, I showed you how to uh, sketch and extrude on a curved surface, but this time I'm going to do it with my loft uh, tool and my sweep tool. So I'm going to come up and grab my plane. I'm going to place my plane here on my right side. I'm going to offset it to uh, three inches to that surface, uh, but I need to change my direction. And because I want it to actually come from inside my part and meet with that face, I'm going to show you on, oh, uh, you know what, I'll do it. Yep, I'm going to do that, 2.75. So I'm going to start that plane actually inside of it. I'm going to lay my sketch down on that plane now. And I'm going to draw a circle. Uh, this time I'll draw it a little bit larger at 2 inches. So I'm going to check out of this sketch and I'm going to place down another plane. I'm going to place it down on that plane three and I'm going to offset it, let's say three inches away as well. So I have my plane stacked there. I'm going to lay a sketch down. I'm going to view it from my left side. I'm going to grab my uh, circle tool and I'm going to just draw it a little bit lower. And I'm going to shrink the size of my circle to one inch and check mark it. So what now I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my loft tool. I'm going to select the uh, first sketch and the second sketch. Green check mark it. And now you're going to notice I've uh, done a loft on that circular surface. Coming over, I'm going to grab over here. And I'm going to do that same offset of 2.75 inches uh, in my direction here. I'm going to grab my sketch. And on this one, I'm just going to draw that two inch circle that I had previously. So you can see it here. Green check mark that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a sketch down perpendicular to that plane in that sketch I just made. We can see my uh, center dot there, and I'm just going to uh, do a line that ex comes from uh, that point, and we can angle it, and you know what, I can even grab a three-point arc tool, and if I wanted to do a slight little arc that goes along with this. I'm going to close out that sketch. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my sweep function. I'm going to select that original sketch as where I'm going to extrude from. I'm going to choose my sweep. I'm going to choose the path that I've chosen here. And again, you're going to notice I have that uh, cylinder or curved surface that I'm now able to put that sketch on. Uh, and have it meeting up. So I hope these uh, tutorials help when you're trying to create your uh, designs and gives you some tools to work with.